Just returned home to my family from Las Vegas, Nevada, where I had the honor and privilege to interview the 45th president of the United States, President Trump, who's now running to be number 47. He's also the most hated man on the planet by the media who always misconstrues anything that he says. They never miss an opportunity to do that. And so I went there with one goal in mind. And that goal was to offer him a platform where he can talk about the issues at hand without people attacking him and misconstruing what he's talking about. Let me tell you, we definitely accomplished the mission. Here's what we talk about. We talk about some of the things that he has said about veterans that the media has put out. We talk about the Afghanistan withdrawal and how it would have been different if he was in. We talk about how we're sent, we've sent $175 billion to Ukraine. And if that's going to end, if he's going to get to have Zelensky and Putin at the table and negotiate some type of a deal so we can spend the next $175 billion on our own infrastructure. <sighs> We talk about a lot of things. We talk about the power grid. We talk about China. We talk about the race to artificial intelligence. And if Elon Musk is going to have a seat at his cabinet, if he does take the presidency, we move on. We talk about his stance on abortion. We talk about the border. We talk about how he's going to clean up the military. If he gets in, we talk about how he's going to win the women's vote. We talk about what he believes is the weakest part of his campaign. And we end it with, if he gets in there, are we going to see any consequences for these sick, self-serving, piece of shit politicians in Washington who are negotiating foreign deals to make themselves millions and millions of dollars by setting up deals with our tax money. Probably the most important question of all, are we going to see accountability in our government if he gets in there? Interview comes out at 1230 Central Time on Monday. It's going to be a big day. And I'm going to end this with one more thing. Not everybody's going to vote. They're never going to do it. Here's the new message. Instead of trying to get everybody to vote, on voting day, go to your buddy's house who's not going to vote and drag their ass off that couch and get them to the polls to vote. That's how we win this thing. See y'all on Monday. God bless you, and God bless America.